Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to The Witcher. I know I am being very generous with The Witcher content um, lately. If you're kind of new to my channel, uh, a lot, because I do, I typically do so many shows at one time, I normally do um, reactions once a week and every day of the week gets a different show. Um, and though I am probably going to stick to that for a good portion of this year, I did kind of want to try out uh, being a little speedier with a specific show um, because a lot of times when shows, kind of bigger, more popular shows drop all at once, um, like on any sort of streaming site or whatever where people binge it, uh, it really runs the risks of seeing spoilers and I really hate that. Um, obviously right now I'm still easing like and getting back into my schedule so I definitely have the opportunity to do it with The Witcher uh, to just see how it goes but you know um, and I'm gonna try to do that with maybe some other shows this year that maybe kind of drop all at once and um, I'll try to get those reactions out fairly quickly. I can't guarantee it you know, sometimes uh, I can't, you know, I, I can't predict exactly when things are going to drop. And sometimes my schedule is so full at that point where it it's, uh, would be near impossible to do that. But um, yeah, so it's something that I'm looking into. So, I mean, luckily for you, you guys are getting uh, a lot of Witcher reactions in a shorter amount of time than you normally would on this channel. So anyway, uh, I really did like the first two episodes and I am ready for the next one. Let's get started. <laughs> oh no. I swear, I saw it, I swear by my Oh, it's another Witcher. Oh no! A friend of yours came through here last month, headed for Tamaria. Friend. Another witch. A few miners rounded up 3,000 orans to have it killed. Your boy took the coin and ran. That's not what I recall seeing. Oh. Hey, Rochi. Don't judge me. And I love a oh, judgy yeah. horse. If anything happens to my horse, <laughs> you don't scare me. How dare you? How dare you? If anything happens to his horse, I just, I mean, it's going to be terrible for you. Why would you want to pick that fight? Revenge will not ease your pain. Oh. Oh, oh, he's, oh, oh. I mean, they are the ones getting attacked. You know nothing. So Murray's had their fill of witches. Wow. What? Something weird's you going on. You down your sword. I'm not here to hurt you. And I don't want you to kill the beast. I want you to help me save it. Interesting. Something. 
Okay. Now we're talking. Let's pick outfits. <laughs> I mean, that would, uh, uh, explain some things. Oh boy. Did you just smell something? The Queen Mother cursing her own children for their affair. This could destroy the throne. What if the relationship was not consensual? Uh, I don't want to think about it. I think you're out of it. Your scent was on her sheets. Geralt. Old ones. And new ones. What would I be doing in a dead girl's bed? I smelled what you were doing. Is that something he can do? Fortis had no right! He seduced Adam! I cursed Fortis, not her! Countless are dead because of your jealousy! Countless are dead because of Fortis! Tell us how to lift the curse. No. It. He just said no. Just. What drama? Oh my goodness! Sabrina Glavesi, the brother. It's like a really disturbed soap opera. You know everything. I'm sorry, I had no way of knowing how the information would be used. But neither did you. You're not doing this for me. Also, we're pretending your precious wreck just never wanted you to spoil me. I was gonna say, girl, I mean, like, I live for you, but, like, also, let's not be hypocritical. The brotherhood. It's not this, honey. It's slow suicide. Wow. What a statement. Ooh. You're patronizing me. Mm. She's over it. She's really over it. You're just angry because you lost your chance to be beautiful! <gasps> no amount of power or beauty will ever make you feel worthy of either. Wow. He really knows how to, like, what to say to really dig out of- Oh! I like that though. Get it all out on the table and be honest. Like, I was over the bullshit. So, I mean, I'm okay. I'm okay with it. For this, leave her such a beat. Show Madame de Brie some respect. Okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Don't be foolish. Don't be awake during the procedure. I can. Oh, wh can we not see that though? I don't like the sound of procedure. Will my daughter be normal? She said as an animal. All she's ever known is rage and hunger. I envy you to live and never have to fall in love. Hmm. Carry me out, I order you. Uh Tell me how to lift the curse. You're gonna have to fight it for the dawn. Oh 
Okay, um, I'm going to... These my eyes. Oh god. These as well. We can... I, I'm okay. Please cut the scene. Oh no. Cut the scene. Cut the fucking scene. I don't need to see it. Cut. 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 Okay. I don't need to see that shit. Mm -mm. Come back here. Please. You believe a man bound to die in such a dignity? I'm not a man. You're a monster. I like that whole, the whole team. Okay. Oh, Joe oh shit. Uh oh. You're about to get it. Oh god. Ah, there's gonna be a jump scare. Uh... <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh that's a Oh no. Wow. Oh Crack, let's go. Ah Okay. Getting your goop on him! Ow! Oh. oh god! Ow! Oh! Oh, I'm ex oh my god! No, wait! I wanted this. To I I didn't want to see that. Uh oh. Oh, I really don't. I don't need to see that. Okay. I'd much rather watch this fight right now. Ah! Oh, the... ah! oh, yeah, yeah, What the hell? No, 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 okay, is that over? Is everything over? I had anxiety. Wow. Oh. Ooh, you've looked better. But she's looked worse, so, you know, I guess. How does I... Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Walking in like a bad bitch. On your lead, your excellence. Wow, her ambition is something else. Let me tell you that. Mama Bear is not happy over here. Jennifer's playing her own game at this point. I mean, oh shit. I feel something out there waits for you. Something more. It's your destiny. They keep talking about it. Ah, oh, where's our friend? Oh! Don't 
No, I like him. Stop it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is up with her? Is she like entranced? What is happening? And I don't want her friend to die! I really hope her friend didn't die. First, first things first. <laughs> okay, so I loved that episode in a, for a lot of different reasons. Um, the main thing that I kind of want to discuss is the fact that I love the theme so far of this show besides destiny because they talk about destiny all the time. But um, the, I feel like the main theme, especially uh, with Geralt, um, is um, who is a monster and who is a human and there being a really strong he has a very very strong moral code throughout all of this of um, you know he really does not want to do much of any harm to you know, um, people who don't deserve it. Um, I loved when he kind of told that guy, like, you're, um, did he say you're not a, you're not a man or you're not a human? Uh, you know, tying him up, him up and leaving him to die in such a way. Um, I really, I like that kind of whole theme and I feel like a lot of his um struggles maybe going forward is going to be to kind of see like who is a monster who is a human um sometimes the lines get really blurred with that kind of stuff and there's a lot of gray area which I really hope that this show continues to dive into and to you know kind of get into all of that, um, especially with him. I have to be completely honest, there was part, I was really excited for The Witcher, but I was not entirely sure how I was going to feel about him. Because the typical, typical kind of um, broody loner, but hero type of character is not normally my cup of tea. And um, I, you know, before even watching this or going into this or whatever, he kind of, I felt like from the trailer or whatever, like, you know, he, he gives off that vibe. He gives off a broody loner vibe, yes, but um, so I was a little worried. I was like, you know, I don't, I'm sure I'm going to root for him, but I don't know if I'm really going to like him that much. You know, like, be, like, super invested. Because they just tend to not be my favorite um, in, like, other shows that I that I watch. Um, but I genuinely really, really like um, him. I, I think he's, I think he's great. I think I love that he has this sort of um, just <laughs> outlook on who to save, who he shouldn't, that he should look after people. Um, and I just, I don't know, there's just something um, about the way that he's being portrayed or he's being written um, that I, I really actually do really like him. Um, just a little bit of a surprise to me, a little bit, not too much.
but a little bit. Um, I'm very upset that we did not get to see, um, and I can't remem remember his name, but the, the musician in, in this one because uh, he was great. <laughs> and um, I don't really know if we're going to see him again. I hope we do. Anyway. Um, but another thing that I really liked uh, about this episode is we really got to see. So now, in the, I feel like in the first two episodes, we really got to see um, Geralt do, like, um, like amazing f fighting. Amazing. Like, that, first, that ending scene or close to the ending scene in the first episode, the fight scene, was insane. Like, and he, he was great. And, um, yes, we have established full on that he is a really skilled fighter. But this episode, I think, established him a little bit more as more of that and what, you know, maybe um, he can do or what a witcher can do in general. Um, I liked that we focused a little bit on his intelligence and uh, for lack of a better term, like detective skills with everything like figuring out um, everything with uh, who's the, the the father and what's going on with all of that. Um, the smelling thing was a little weird, but you know, it's just, I like that we took this, this story, it, which seems fairly self-contained um and uh which i feel like a lot of the the these episodes have been um but we explored so much about his character um with while where he like showed it as opposed to we're just gonna say what a witcher can do and kind of shove it down you know um your throats or whatever like i really liked how that um all played out I was really intrigued and fascinated throughout this that whole storyline um, and it just speaks so much to his character that he didn't want to just kill this he wanted to reverse what happened to her and um, I mean I'm honestly like there's part of me that's just really interested in how she's going to cope though oh, we may ne never see her again or or um, at all, I mean, maybe we, maybe we will, um, but but um, you know, to live like that, to be that, and then to just switch, it's got to be quite a change in a process. Um, it's all she knows. I like that anger and what did he say? It was like rage and hunger. Um, so it's really not surprising even after, you know, um, that she kind of like attacked him. Right? Um, okay. <sighs> Other things to talk about. Okay, let's talk about the timelines. <laughs> so, in, so we have three main characters um uh which well, one wasn't really shown in in this episode and, and uh, except for that last little bit uh siri uh but we have these three storylines that are not crossing just yet but there has been i okay um, when editing the first two, it did cross my mind thinking, I don't really know where things are going to collide and when things are going to collide. But in this episode, it was a hundred percent confirmed. I'm sure maybe there were some other things said in the first two episodes that confirmed it as well. But if you want me to be complete, fu completely fucking honest, it's like there's a lot of like names getting thrown at you and it was my first time watching, so I don't know. But anyway, but here where obviously when they were in the group and then, um, or the, the with, uh, oh, oh God. <laughs> where she talked about the queen 
uh, that was like going to be queen. So there's that. And then um, obviously we saw the two young uh, <clears throat> children in question uh, in Yennefer's storyline. So Yennefer's, I believe is first, right? And then obviously series is probably recent. And then I don't really know where <laughs> in the other, uh, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see, but for sure, um, Yennefer is what's happening with her and her storyline right here is definitely before the other two. So, things to look out for. Wonderful. Um, I'll get a flow chart and shit or something. <laughs> um, but, uh, so, I had a, a, just a, like, I thought about it before, but I really was not, like, completely. I was, I think, way more focused on what was happening in the storylines than um, trying to piece together all of that. Um, I'm sure it'll all just get, get revealed and explained. Eventually, you would think, eventually, all of these plot lines are going to cross in some form or, you, you know what I mean? Like, it's got, it has, it has to happen, right? Watch it doesn't, I know. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to say that, that I, um, I know what's going on with that. Okay, so, um, well, I don't know exactly what's going on with that, but I'm somewhat tracking. Okay, so, um, another thing that I wanted to talk about is, uh, I really, <sighs> Yennefer, 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 girl, she, man, she's a big cutthroat. She is. I don't hate it. I'm just saying she, I really, it, it's really interesting because in episode two, I feel like you feel a whole lot of sympathy or whatever. And now she's taking, she's taking control of her own power and fuck everybody else. She's gonna, she's gonna be in charge. It, it, you know, uh, it's very interesting to see someone really take charge of her own destiny in a show that really kind of puts such high emphasis on destiny. So I think, uh, you know, she's not going to sit back and let decisions be made for her. She's a really strong woman um, that I think, <laughs> you know, she thought of herself maybe as weak or unworthy or whatever you want to call it, um, but then as time went on, she kind of really got this strength. Um, I don't know. Uh, and, and she's more and more um, relying on her strength, which is, it is nice to see. I'm just, I still have the thought in my head that I have no idea where her character can go. You know what I mean? Like, I think it can go so many different directions. Um, I, I genuinely don't know. It's going to be crazy to see. Um, she could become just really powerful, but do a lot of good. Or she could right off the deep end and, and be like, crazy and by the end of the season the main villain <laughs> you know what I mean like at this point I'm not sure <laughs> so because and why I say that is kind of um I'm not entirely sure where her motives lie I know that she's ambitious and I know that she wants to further her own. Yeah. Um, and do what's right for her. I, 
don't know. Different ways this can go. Really interesting. All right. Anyway, oh, um, yeah, I think that, I think that that's all my thoughts. I don't, I don't think I can, there's anything else that I really want to talk about, but I loved it. I can't wait to watch the next episode. Uh, so I hope that you guys are enjoying these reactions. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.